trying to get this thing straightened out. But I haven't been acting out the way that I wanted to. Today's facial feels on Friday. It's your boy Z. Do it to life for life. Do it to you. Do it to 2021. Whole year of mental breast cancer awareness and personal growth. Come back down here and I got this huge box sitting in one of my areas. It come from my kids, right? Because they're, they're storing their boxes in the garage. They're just so used to putting the junk in the garage that as I'm cleaning out, they're cleaning their areas out and putting the stuff back into the garage because there's a clean spot. This reminds me just like life, right? It says it in the Bible, you know, some spirits have been driven out of this guy and they say, look, man, you need to go ahead and um, start putting some good word in some good word in you because otherwise if you don't those spirits will come back find a place clean and swept nobody's occupied nobody's using the space and invite several more of his bad friends with him and then that person is worse off than it was before so we always gotta the area that we clean off we need to occupy it uh pastor was saying that in the, in the bible uh when the kids was getting ready to uh you know, take over Israel or, or the land, possess the land. He said, look, I'm not, you know, I won't drive all the inhabitants out all at one time because y'all are small. Your numbers are small. The beasts would take over the field. They will grow and multiply and you guys won't be able to manage. You won't be able to manage it. So a lot of times when I'm thinking about, man, I wish I was rich. I wish I stayed in that house. He said, man, look, you know, to stay in something like that, I mean, just to manage it, just to manage it costs you hundreds of thousands to manage a mansion. You know, just to run a large, everybody say, look, yeah, I want to go ahead and make a million dollars. But managing a million, you got to have the capacity to manage a million dollars. The capacity, the infrastructure to manage $10 million. So he was saying, this is what he was saying, is that as you become stronger, you'll be allowed to manage even more. But that's the question, right? So the question is, the thing is, is that all that belongs to you is already available to you. But if you're not experiencing it, it's because you're not growing to experience it. That's what he was talking about tonight. I would listen to him tonight. He said, you got to grow to experience it. He was talking about the prodigal son, right? Prodigal son. You know, saying that, you know, hey, give me my inheritance. And then you have your inheritance. He divided the inheritance among them. He said one took it out and blew it. The other one never used it. He invited to them, but one blew it and he don't have it. The other one never used it. So it's just like he didn't have it. And that's what he was saying. He said we had... Go back to the same thing. We have all that we need, but we're not using it. We don't have the intelligence, the skill, the level to use it. And that's what I'm using this whole year about, to develop that muscle, that skill, that level, that strength to kind of go to next face your fears on Friday. Did I face some fears? Yeah. Owned up to a lot of stuff. I looked at some things that, um, that, you know, that I didn't look, I, I wouldn't have looked at before. I was assuming, uh, uh, I did a, a lot more assumption in the sale, right? But then I caught myself, right? I caught myself trying to be a people pleaser. See, one of the biggest things I think that's, that holds a lot of us back, holds me back, you know, has been held, holding me back in the past, was taking things personally, and then me taking the things personal. The only reason I wouldn't take that I was taking the things personally, it's, it's, it's a kind of a, a little trip, a little trick, a little flip. But I think this going for nowhere helped me overcome the taking things personally. You see what I'm saying? By me going for the no, consciously asking for the no. Hey, look, I need to seek the no. Give me yes or no. I'm going to preface it in a way that normally in the situation they say no, they're going to give me yes or no. 
can we go ahead and complete the transaction right now? Just go ahead and throw it out there. You never know. Yeah, yeah, we can. What? Oh, yeah, shoot. I'm like, dang. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm like, dang. Right? Can we go ahead and complete it right now? Go for the no. And that's what I'm going to do. And also, understanding about the time. You know, a lot of time, the only reason I'm doing this extra work, trying to pacify and babysit some clients that really don't need it, it's because I'm thinking that I'm going to take it personally, right? See what I'm saying? But no, I have to proceed and grow in that capacity. Certain things kind of work themselves out. You see what I'm saying? So, we've been going for the no. The day was a good day. Had excellent, I, I got some tremendous amount of work done today. Could I have gotten some more work done? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get into this part. It's, it's not multitasking, it's task switching. And I know there's a cost involved, but in the past, I was scared to pay the cost. I thought that the cost may have been too high to task switch. But I'm about to get good at task switching. Not multitasking, but task switching. I'm going to have to get more confident and skilled in doing my best. Doing my best means completing the task at hand. One task at a time completed. One task at a time completed. And that's what I got to do. I mean, that's that's the area that I'm working in. I was talking to another part of me today. Other parts of me I didn't talk to. Other parts of me wanted me to talk to them. But I didn't want to because I was on a task. I can't let other thoughts kind of come in and just crowd its way out and throw me off task. I got to complete the task. And that's what I was doing tonight. Something I had been letting lay around for ages because it had grown to a point that where it seemed like it was overwhelming and I didn't think that I had the strength to tackle it, but you know I had a lot of lot of answers come in from an email blast from a from a campaign that I sent out. And I just didn't feel like going through it. Right? They were mostly no's. I sent out a no question, trying to clean up some old lingering files. Hey, look, yes or no? You want to stay or go? Oh, we going? Boom! Oh, we staying? Then clean all it up, man. I can't wait till Monday to see what that list look like. That list gonna look pure. You gotta get purified down to the bad essentials. Like my boy said, and like the eighty twenty rule, I want to get down to the best twenty percent that give me eighty percent of my results. Therefore, see if I can concentrate on the best twenty percent. Guess what? That's, that just makes so much sense. Get my best. Identify my best twenty percent. See, the thing is that they, they don't normally allow me to fire the other 80, like the four-hour work week. But identify the first 20%, if I can work on that, then I should be able to make, and here's the beauty, here's the beauty. It just came up to me, it just came up to me. If I concentrate on the 20% and do nothing else, so 20, 20, 80% will give me 80% of my results, right? So that means that 20%, is that saying that 20% of the year I'll be, no, it's saying that if I worked on this 20%, 80% of the year I'll be able to take off. Is that right? I'll be able to allocate that to, to other funds, reallocate that back into the 20, and then come up and then grow this 20%. It's the, it's the key thing. Is to grow this 20% because this is the 20, this is going to be the seed. And pretty soon I have a 40%, but they're all 20 percenters. I know it's a bunch of jargon in there, but that's, that's something to think about. Because it frees you up, it frees you up to relax, to kind of move and be fluid, to kind of be, to get that 20%, a level of dedication and excellence never before seen. Because they're giving me 80% of my income for the year, right off the bat. Secure that first. Anything else is gravy. But I, I, I had an epiphany or something kind of bleeped in there. That by me doing this, this 20%, even though it's giving me 80%, it frees me up. 
to attract another type of 20 percent see to grow this 20 percent this 20 percent may only be let's say out of 100 this 20 percent may only be 20 people right but by me concentrate on this 20 and not worry about the 80 is that time that i was using on that 80 that only brought me 20 percent of my income i can use that time to go out and and then generate more leads to get in more clients get in another hundred right and then out of that hundred i pulled 20 percent put i pulled 20 people out of that now i got 40 people to where i had in these 40 people don't that double me to 160, right? Does it? It's something to think about. I got to face that note. And, I, and my boss came in. I know he kind of felt the guy quizzed me on why I was the top guy, the top guy. It was eye-opening, refreshing. It's easier for me to talk about it, right? But I learned something. Just because I know it don't mean that I have the strength to accomplish it. You see what I'm saying? Just because I see a guy lifting a thousand pounds and I know how he, oh, that's how he lifts, that's his technique, don't mean that I can lift a thousand pounds. So I start with where I'm at. I master the technique, but I still got to build the strength, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking the time to build the strength, and that's why I'm here tonight. Guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is affirmations. Affirmations going to working on the back end. I'm going to hit pastor on the way back. Because I said I want to beat that spiritual man up. I want to beef him up seven days a week. I want to have something spiritually going into me seven days a week. So I got to pick me some reading time. My wife will be off tomorrow. Sunday she will be at work. So Sunday will be the day that I do a lot of reading. Well, this is your boy, obviously, do it to life for life do it to you heard about my day day was a good day i learned some stuff today and tomorrow's gonna be even better because guess what i just went on stack tomorrow up like it was like it was nothing without fear apparent obstacles vanish upon my approach i set all my clients up i just told them come on in we'll work it out to that mind it's like oh man no we can't do it. we're gonna lose some money we're gonna lose some clients no it'll work itself out It'll work itself out. Team player, baby. Team player.